Hello, this is uh, Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, I'm going to talk more about Calvinism. Uh, this is uh, part five of this series. And now I want to talk about uh, predestination. In the previous videos, uh, I've discussed uh, how Calvinism sees the concepts of the sovereignty of God and predestination. Uh, and I hope you can see now that uh, uh, it's not biblical and it is not even the God of the Bible. But now let's look at uh, predestination based upon what the Bible says. So there's only a few references uh, in the Bible that even use the term. Uh, but first we'll look at Matthew uh, 25, 4. Uh, it says, Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. So in this verse here, we see that uh, hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. Uh, it, it was not God's intention from eternity past to ever uh, have man go into hell. Uh, so uh, man, no man was ever predestined to go to hell because hell wasn't even created for that purpose. Um, but we know that uh, people will go to hell. They'll suffer the second death in the lake of fire uh, if they have not uh, received the gift of eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. So now let's see the actual word predestined in the scriptures and see what we can make of it. Let's first look at Romans 8, 29 and 30. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, of whom he called, them he also justified, and of whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, uh, when, we, when we see the word predestination here in this verse 29, we see it uh, alongside the word foreknow. For whom he did foreknow. Well, uh, my destiny, uh, b before time was even invented or created by God, my destiny was to have eternal life in the kingdom of God. And, and that was not because God sovereignly elected me to be uh, uh, saved and, and to other people he sovereignly elected that they would be always be lost it was it was because of this word for no for whom he did foreknow uh, God's foreknowledge means that he he knows the future he he knew that uh, in December of 1986 uh, I would call on the name of the Lord Jesus and be saved uh, he saw that happen before it happened and therefore uh, I was destined, uh, he, he knew in advance that I was destined to become a child of God. Now it says he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. So he, I was predestined to be conformed to the image of the son. Now right now, I am still living in this mortal body of flesh and I'm a long ways from the, you know, the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, we all fall short of the glory of God. Jesus Christ is the glory of God. He is the measuring stick that we compare are compared against, and we all fall short. Uh, but I am I am predestinated to be conformed. So eventually, at the resurrection, I get a glorified body. I have no more sinful sin nature. I'm in it uh, be an eternity where sin no longer exists, and I will be conformed to the image. Jesus Christ. It's my destiny. Uh, and of course, also, I, uh, he knew that he would call me and he knew that uh, uh, I would be justified and, and uh, also glorified with that glorified eternal body. Now, let's uh, look at Ephesians 1, 5. It says, Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, 
Okay, now here it says that uh, I, I am, have been predestinated unto the adoption. And that's simply because uh, as, a, as a child of God, when I got born again as a child of God, it's a de destiny that I am adopted as his child. So I'm predestined unto adoption. Uh, in Ephesians 1.11, it says, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. So uh, it's also destiny that I receive an inheritance. I'm a joint heir with Christ, so it's uh, my destiny, uh, predestined because God saw this destiny in the future, that I would receive this co-inheritance with Jesus Christ. So that is uh, biblical predestination. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, man uh, having no free will and God just uh, randomly selecting people uh, for no reason other than some, some secret uh, plan. <laughs> so, uh, um, predestiny, uh, determinism, fatalism, these are all Gnostic uh, ideas that uh, uh, were brought into the church that, that never should have been introduced. And I'm, I'm hoping that now you can see that uh, the reason we are predestined uh, to all these things is because in God's foreknowledge he saw that we would eventually put our faith in our Savior Jesus. So now I will go on to part six, the, the final part of this uh, study, and in that I will discuss TULIP, uh, the five points of Calvinism. So thank you for joining me and bless you. Rest in the love and grace of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.